As I leaned against the wall, I heard a thud. Porcelain shards settled onto the ground. Uh, Lumumba was being shouted at by Asi. This is going to come out of your pay. How careless are you? I give you a job and you act so ungrateful. With one phone call, just this one phone call, you can be back in your own country, as he said. As I stood by the door listening to this and not twisted in my stomach, my nerves shot up. When you break plates, Lumumba, you steal from me. Clean this up and then bring out the cheese. Ozzy stormed out of the room just as I found the nerve to make my presence known. Good morning, he said, just as he scuttled past me. Lumumba, is everything all right? Listen, uh, I'll get the broom. It's fine. Me and him just stood there watching the shard settle, trying to figure out who was going to clean it up. Lumumba, you have to stand up for yourself. If it was me, I would have said something to him. He stood staring at me coldly and simply said, Shut up, tourist boy. If you don't know what you're saying, don't be stupid. Just get out of my way. I must earn money. He grabbed the broom out of my hands and sloshed about the kitchen. I still say you should have said something to him. Don't let people talk to you like that. I pressed my back against the counter, pushing plates to the side. The plates in turn pressed against the glasses on the edge. Asi would never talk to me like that, I said. Just keep quiet. You're going to get me in trouble, Lumumba said. I don't care if, I don't care, this isn't my country. I'm not you, and I don't let people talk to me like that. Out of, out of sheer anger, and, and a little bit, uh, out of sheer anger, I threw a glass into the air. It rotated several times towards the ground, and I caught it at the last minute. See, I don't really care because this is in my this is in my country. I'm just doing this job for the experience. I don't need this money. Stop fooling around, Ken. You, you've made your point. Stop playing. Amadou pulled at my arm, trying to snatch the glass away from me. He whined and kicked as I held it over his head. No, you got to understand. You can't let people talk to you like that. And I talk, And as I held it, we began to struggle for the glass. At the very last minute, the glass slipped and cracked all over the floor. Shards spread out into the four corners of the room. Just as the last time, Ozzy appeared. In my mind, I had worked out a speech. Whatever my, whatever my punishment was going to be, I wasn't going to be afraid. I was going to teach Lumumba how to be proud and how to stand up for yourself. As Ozzy entered, he says, oh, I see you dropped the glass, Ken. I looked at him, square face, absolutely I dropped the glass. Expecting him to do the worst. I wasn't afraid and I was proud and going to show Lumumba that what I was and who I was. Asi handed me the broom, clean it up. With that, he left the room. That was it. No big spiel, no, no anything, no, no eruption, no, no yelling or anything. 